Pursuing a new career is all fine and dandy, but how much is it going to take you? Let's discuss. So I'm going to go to sdms.org, the Society of Diagnostic Medical Sonographers website. We're going to go to resources, career resources, salary resources, and we're going to go to career one stop. I like that website. We're going to click on the diagnostic medical sonographer option. It has been requested that I look at certain states that I didn't do in the last video. I want to go from the what I think is going to be the least paid to the most paid. And then I'm going to add in at least one that I just want to look up. Okay, I know where we're going to go. So first we're going to go to Michigan. Yearly wages, the lower end. You just started now. It's less than the national average at $60,890 per year. Middle, the median, $77,900. And then high, this is once you have a lot more experience, it's way lower than the national average, actually. It's $86,670. That still can be considered a good amount of money, but you really want to know what the cost of living is in that area. And is that going to be able to provide you with your basic needs, plus some things that you want. You want to enjoy your life, right? So let's see what that looks like from the wages point of view. Hourly wages. Okay, so for the low end, that's $29.28. Median is $37.45. And for the high end, that's $41.67 where it caps off. You're not likely to make more than that. So I'm really interested in finances. So let's just, I want to pull up another tab. I do not like Yahoo. Like, stop that. I already chose it in my defaults. Google, not Yahoo. Michigan cost of living. So the cost of living is generally lower than the United States average. Overall, is 4% lower than the United States average. So that kind of evens it out. It says that the housing is 13% lower than the national average. And that's the largest expense of most households, paying for rent or mortgage. So once you save on that, you don't need a whole bunch more money than that to cover too many other expenses. So it's all relative. How much you make is relative to where you live. Now let's go on to the next state, which I think will be Washington. Let's see if my math is right. So yearly, when you have very little experience, you just graduated or just started out in the field, the low end of what you could be making is 46,620. So that's a lot lower than the national average. But once you go to the median, it's 101,530,000. What am I talking? 101,000. 530. So you cross over into the six figures range once you get maybe 10 or so years of experience. That's really good. I wonder why it starts out so low in comparison. And then, so that's higher than the national average. And then once you get a lot of experience, 20 plus years of experience in the game, the high end that you could be making is $129,820. That's pretty good. So let's look at the cost of living. Washington State cost of living. It would be nice if I could spell. So the cost of living is higher than the national average, especially for housing and household bills. Let's see. So the monthly rent for a studio is $1,468. For a two bedroom, for, exa for example, $2,024. The average monthly mortgage is $1,300, around $1,300. Yeah, so... You need that extra money. You need that to be able to live there. Let's see what it is for the average, for the hourly wages. Okay, the lower end equates to $22.41. The median is $48.81. And the high end is $62.41. So that sounds good, but you're gonna be spending. Okay, let's see the next. Oh man, I skipped one that I thought, okay. We're going to go back. This one, I think, is going to be lower than Washington. I, I forgot we were going to go to this place. It had been requested. So, the lower end, $63,960. The median is $78,520. The high is $102,560. So, all of 
The lower end, you start out just above the national average, but the other ones, it's a little bit lower. Let's see how this compares to the hourly wages. The lower end translates to $30.75 an hour. The median, $37.75 an hour. And the high, $49.31 an hour. But now, I want to give you an example to see how looking up the state can be a little bit different than the city salary or wages. So let's go to a specific city in Pennsylvania. So that is, you start out $62, $62,040. Median is $78,040. And the high is $97,000. $130. So the median salary is pretty much the same, whereas the lower end and the higher end are a bit smaller or a bit lower in that area. So this translates to the lower end wages being $29.83 an per hour, the median $37.52 an hour, and the higher end is $46.70 an hour. The cost of living in Pennsylvania, that's across the state average, is 4% lower than the national average. And housing is 17% lower than the national average, but utilities are a little bit higher. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so the next place that, in my mind, I think you can make a good bit of money, on paper at least, is Oregon. This is topping Washington. So the lower end, you start out way more than the national average at $82,830. Imagine a year out of school and you make $82,000. Okay, so the median is $105,680 and the high is $127,720. Now let's look at the wages for Oregon. So the lower end, that equates to $39.82. That's wild. That's pretty good. Median is $50.81. And the higher end is $61.40. Okay. All of them definitely exceeding the national average. So now let's look at the cost of living in Oregon. The cost of living in Oregon is definitely higher than the nat national average. As I figured, when the cost of living is higher, most times it pays a little bit more. Not all the time, it seems. Jeez, the average cost of living is 10% higher than the national average. You better be making some money. You better be making them three, what do you call it? Six figures that people are so concerned about these days. So housing costs, wait for it, y'all. Wait for it. 41% higher than the national average. That's wild. You better get you some roommates. You better claim you some dependents. You better do something. Because goodness. Homes can cost around $700,000. Okay, how much do sonographers make? It really depends on the area that you in which you live. You really want to pay attention to the location when you're getting your expectations in order. So, we have done Washington, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Oregon. The last one, the bonus one I wanted to look up. Can y'all guess? It's very tropical. Let's see what we can find out. So, I think this is going to be the most that you can make out of these states, but I'm not sure. For the most part, I'm right. Okay, so the lower end is $94,430. The higher end of what you could be making, I mean, the, no, the median of what you could be making is $113,010. The higher end is $126,050. So pretty much the higher end isn't quite as high as in Oregon and Washington, but it's still pretty high. But the other ones, the median and low, are definitely exceeding the national average. And y'all already know Hawaii is expensive. So budget, count your monies, count your, count the costs <laughs> before you decide to move over there. So the low end is for the wages is $45 and 40 cents. The median is $54 and 33 cents. And the higher end is $60 and six cents. Pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Okay. 
I just want to see like how it compares to the national average, the Hawaii cost of living. It's significantly higher than the national average, of course. If you thought Oregon's housing cost was crazy, in Honolulu, the cost of living is around 85% higher than the eight, 85, 85% higher than the national average with housing experience, expenses, wait for this, housing expenses being around 200% higher than the national average. Okay. Yeah. If you want to go to Hawaii, find you an inexpensive place, a mother-in-law suites, live in somebody's basement and enjoy that sunshine and beaches. Don't get carried away in a hurricane or whatever they be having over there. Earthquakes, tsunamis. So, all right, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this part two of sonography pay and wages. Oh, I got to talk to y'all real quick. Okay. So before I forget, which place do you see yourself possibly being able to live at with the cost of living taken into account where you think you would be able to pay for your basic needs and some of your wants? Also, I wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, everyone who comments. You guys are very supportive in comments, even just saying thank you for this video. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content and thank you just for saying thank you. That's really cool. So thank you guys for all the likes that you give. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Somebody out there is having a sneeze attack. So thank you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know that and I'll see you in the next video.